Hi, I'm Andrew Skula from Blue Turtle Spa in San Francisco. And in this segment of Skincare TV, I wanted to talk about the, how the skin works and basically look at skin facts versus all the marketing hype out there that makes us believe that all these cosmetic companies know so much about the skin. First off, when we look at the skin, the most important aspect about it is that there are three distinct layers. The uppermost layer of the skin is called the epidermis. And that is like uh, a paper thin or as thick as a credit card. It's not a very, very thick layer. Think of it as the sheet that covers the bed. Because the next layer down is what we call the dermis. That is where all the collagen and elastin fibers are. And that's where the strength of the skin is. And that's where the um, structure of the skin is, etc. That's an important part of the skin. Underneath that is this um, subcutaneous layer. Basically, it's little fat cells, the adipose tissue. That is important because it gives structure as well to the skin. So in these three layers work the same way, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this skin is designed to keep things out. Your skin is the largest organ of your body and its primary function is to actually keep stuff out. It's to protect the body, to protect the body from having stuff enter the body through the skin. This here is a sebaceous gland and it is attached to where the hair follicle is and its function is to produce that stuff we call oil that will cover the surface of the skin. It is supposed to do that. That is part and parcel of the way the skin functions to protect the body. So now that we understand that the skin has a particular function, trying to change that function by using incorrect skincare products will actually cause your skin to be unbalanced. Your skin always tries to balance itself out, but we don't want our skincare products to keep on fighting the way that the skin works. The skin never sleeps. That's one thing that you may see in some marketing hyped up messages that their products work perfectly while your skin sleeps or something to that effect. The skin never sleeps. The skin operates the same way 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every week of the year, every year of your life. It's the only skin you'll ever have, so I recommend that you really take care of it as much as possible by treating it right and getting it properly balanced. The other important aspect of skincare relates to the pH balance of your skin. Now, pH relates to acidity and alkalinity. Every aspect of your body is pH balanced, and there's different pHs that relate to different parts of the body. Your basic pH scale goes from zero, which is acidic, up to 14, which is alkaline. So this is like battery acid, which of course is not good for the skin. This is like caustic soda, which of course is also not good for the skin. So the two extremes are not good for the skin. Water is your midpoint, and that's at seven. Now, when I talk about pH of the body, blood has a pH of 7.35 up to 7.45. So it's a very, very narrow range that your blood can fluctuate in, in terms of its pH. Once your blood goes outside of that range, you're in trouble, okay? So your body has very, very distinct uh, parameters that it works within. Now, pH for the skin is a little bit more forgiving. Everybody's skin will have a pH between 4.5 and 5.8. Somewhere in that range is everybody's skin on this planet. Some people may be more towards the acidic side, some people more towards the alkaline side, but nobody will be outside of that range of 4.5 to 5.8. The reason why the skin is, is acidic is very, very simple. Being the primary organ that protects the body, it is acidic because most pathogens, bacteria, funguses, etc., outside of us are more alkaline than the skin. They will not enter an acid environment. So that's one of the ways that your skin will protect your body. It is acidic. The oil that we produce from those sebaceous glands that I spoke about always will cover the skin. It is also acidic. It sits on the surface. It is there to be part of that acid mantle to protect the body. When we look at other aspects of pH, like uh, a bar of soap, a hard bar of soap, it comes out at a 10 on the pH scale. It doesn't matter how many gallons of moisturizer they say is in the soap. A bar of soap is very alkaline just by the nature of the way that it is made.
okay? An alkaline substance will strip your oil off your skin. The oil is supposed to be on the skin, okay? So anything that strips oil off your skin is not natural to your skin. Now, when we start looking at um, the fact that we have these differences in the skin um, in, in each of us, that is all genetics. Some people have large pores, some people have small pores. Some people produce a lot of oil on their skin, some people produce less. That depends on what you've inherited from your, your parents and from your grandparents, etc., etc. Just because your parents or your grandparents looked great when they were old does not mean that you will. Everybody inherits things differently. You can have six brothers and sisters and you might be the only one with acne. How does that happen? Genetic inheritance, okay? So don't think that everything is gonna be fine. I really recommend that you take steps to take care of your skin. Make sure that you try and mitigate any of the activities of life that cause your skin to show aging a lot faster than other people. So diet is essential. Make sure you have three fruits and three vegetables every day. The other thing is to um, manage your stress levels because that will affect your skin, your skin. And most importantly, make sure that you wear a sunscreen because the sun is the number one factor that ages the skin. So I look forward to taking care of you and your skin when you come into Blue Turtle Spa and we can talk more about the chemistry and the makeup of your skin at that time. Thank you so much.